премиера на Израел, колегата на Таняко. Thank you. Uh, first, uh, to our gracious and excellent host, Prime Minister Borisov Boyko, thank you for hosting this and for this uh, wonderful invitation. Uh, to President uh, Vucic Alexander, uh, Prime Minister Alexis uh, Tsipras, and Prime Minister Yorika Dancila, these are all real friends. Uh, you know, in political life you say friends, and that's supposed to be pro forma. But this is not pro forma. They're, these are warm, close friends. And I want to start by uh, saying what a singular honor it is uh, for me, really for my country, to be invited to attend your regional meeting, which uh, I think makes uh, uh, for advancing your own interest within the context of Europe. I think that these regional meetings, as I could judge from the Visegrad and the Baltics, is a, a very wise approach to advancing your national interest and your regional interests, and I'm, I'm very proud that you invited me in this context. But I want to touch first on history. Uh, the Jewish people went through the greatest torment uh, of uh, mankind uh, during the Holocaust, and in each of your countries, there were brave men and women who stood up uh, and uh, saved Jews, very often at the endangerment of their own lives, um, and this was done uh, repeatedly, something we never forget. Uh, and I attach that to two things. One, your common position against anti-Semitism today, it still rears its ugly head, and each one of your governments takes a very strong position against it, and we appreciate it very much. We think it's important primarily because these, this hatred uh, perhaps can start with Jews, but quickly it spreads to everyone else. So I think it's uh, for our common humanity, it's a great service you are all performing. And also the commemoration, the commemoration of uh, uh, Jewish sites, Jewish synagogues, uh, and, uh, and documentation uh, is something that we in Israel deeply appreciate. Uh, I'd like to also say that we, in our own way, reciprocate for this historical uh, action on the part of your brave citizens by uh, protecting European lives by having exchanges with our intelligence services, which I believe are second to none in fighting terrorism, in uncovering terrorist attacks. We've done that. Dozens of terrorist attacks on the soil and on the skies of Europe we have prevented, uh, and we do so with excellent cooperation from your various services. It's something that I think safeguards uh, the citizens of each of our countries, and not everyone knows about it, but I take this opportunity to uh, thank you for this cooperation uh, and to express our commitment to continue uh, this important uh, cooperation in saving lives. Uh, on the, uh, we discuss bilaterally with each, uh, uh, I discuss it with each of our, uh, our friends here, how we can increase uh, Israel, uh, Israeli cooperation. But within the group context, let me say that we have three things that I think uh, are important to our common future. Uh, the first thing is technology. The second is uh, uh, energy. And the third is uh, security, which I'll expand on, touched upon it briefly. On uh, technology, there was a revolution in the world, an extraordinary revol revolution where every single uh, endeavor, human endeavor, is being technologized. Israel is an innovation nation. We have 8,000 startups, uh, and the numbers grow all the time. Uh, anything from cybersecurity to health, water management, uh, IT, uh, every field, every single field. Growing food, making crops last longer, making them uh, better suited for people's diets, and so on. Uh, these things we uh, want to share are eager to share with our friends here in various ways. And I think the future belongs to those who innovate. Uh, we can do a lot more together. 
and we in Israel are eager to do so. We discussed some ideas of how to do that. Uh, and we're already doing some of that. There is more to be done, more to be done. Products of the mind are enormously valuable. And we can see that because in the last 10 years, the 10 leading companies in the world have shifted to companies that uh, produce products of the mind. Uh, there's more to be done. We'd like to do it with you. The second field is energy. We need energy. Everybody needs energy. Uh, and uh, uh, we discussed how Israel can help uh, meet the energy goals of the countries represented here. Uh, we have two projects that we discussed. One relates to one that is already being discussed, uh, uh, is already underway, uh, and to the extent that we can help uh, your countries increase uh, the efficiency of the energy that you receive, obviously we're, we're going to help as best as we can. Secondly, we're developing what has already been mentioned here, the East Med pipeline. This would be the longest underwater gas pipeline in the world. It would uh, go from our gas fields in the Eastern Mediterranean through Cyprus, through Crete, through Greece, and to Italy, and possibly go up to the Balkans. We discussed that. Uh, we are now in the feasibility phase. We want to move it very rapidly. And I hope that the feasibility shows that it can be done. Because if it can be done, it must be done. And I think that this will be a great uh, assistance to, well, to us in exporting this gas, to you in diversifying your uh, gas uh, resources. So we're discussing this uh, in, in, in a very serious way, in a very purposeful way. Uh, the third question is uh, security. I discussed the ways that Israel prevents terrorist attacks. But I think in a larger sense, we're part of a common civilization. We are all democracies. We all uh, seek to better the future of our people through choice and through respect for human life and human dignity. Uh, these concepts are under assault by extremist forces. Uh, and the greatest force is uh, the force of militant Islam that threatens to uh, uh, threatens our civilization, threatens our future. Uh, one way it does so is by trying to bring down our airplanes or murder our citizens uh, on the streets. But it also has uh, a country that, and, and uh, when I said this, I was talking about things like ISIS, Daesh, or before that, Al-Qaeda, uh, on the extremist Sunni fronts. But there's also an extremist Shiite front led by Iran. Iran, I believe, is... Uh, posing a great danger to the world. Uh, President Trump on Sunday will issue new sanctions against Iran. I want you to know that they, the sanctions that have already been imposed, uh, we could see a market decrease uh, in the amount of money that goes to these various aggressive uh, and terrorist activities of Iran. It's already having showing its signs, and I believe that uh, Iranian aggression will be further constricted by these sanctions, and I hope that all the countries here will um, join in this effort. Uh, I, uh, I think we should not lose our gaze on what's important. Uh, there are things that are very important. Uh, for example, what happened in the, the Istanbul Consulate was horrendous, and it should be duly dealt with. Yet at the same time, I say that it's very important for the stability of the world, of the region and of the world, that Saudi Arabia remains stable. And I think that a way must be found to achieve both goals. Uh, because I think that the larger problem is Iran. And I think that we have to make sure that Iran does not continue the malign activities that it has been doing over the last few weeks in Europe. We have helped uncover two terrorist attacks, one in Paris and the other one in uh, Copenhagen, uh, organized by the Iranian uh, Secret Service. Uh, and I think that blocking Iran is uh, uppermost in our agenda for security, not merely for Israel, but I believe for Europe and the world as well. These are uh, part and parcel of the cooperation that we have with uh, the countries represented here. I have to say that uh, there's something beyond interest here. It is common values. It is also a great sympathy. Uh, sympathy of our people, 
that's expressed in the growing tourism to each one of the countries here. Uh, many, many Israelis that come to uh, Bulgaria, come to Serbia, come to Greece, come to Romania. It expresses, uh, uh, I believe, uh, a tremendous uh, fondness for the cultures, the peoples, uh, and the future of the countries represented here. So uh, all I can say is uh, next year in Jerusalem, we'll be happy to receive you individually, as a group, however you wish. And thank you, thank you, Boykov, for this uh, wonderful invitation. I appreciate it deeply. Thank you. Благодаря. Няколко думи само да обобщя. Нашата четвърта и събирането ни тук винаги има е едно цел. В рамките на Европейския съюз, 